nearly 14,000 scientists warn that Earth's vital signs are rapidly worsening. Here's a summary of the article. In 2019, 11,258 scientists published a report in the journal Bioscience, warning the world of the stark climate emergency we're facing. The new report, also published in Bioscience, has added 2,800 scientists' names to the growing collective, noted that 1,990 jurisdictions have formally declared or recognized a climate emergency, and provided a policy approach to be able to mitigate some of the damage we're doing to our warming planet. The researchers suggest a three-pronged near-term policy approach, a significantly higher global price on carbon, a worldwide phase-out and eventual ban of fossil fuels, and development of climate reserves to protect and restore biodiversity and carbon sinks. Of course, climate scientists have been screaming from the rooftops about the dangers of anthropogenic climate change since at least the 1960s, and have been offering various solutions in different ways since the 1980s. Despite knowing what rampant use of fossil fuels is doing to Earth's climate, humanity's greenhouse gas emissions have kept going up, and global warming has increased as a result. Now, scientists warn we have no more time left to waste. The new report was released to align with the latest International Panel on Climate Change report due next week, which is hopefully going to be even more of a wake-up call. This post received a score of 33,000, with an upvote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. It is difficult to get a man to understand something when his salary depends on his not understanding it. From Upton Sinclair, I think this rings true of our political and economic system still, and I don't see any real change happening on climate change until those aspects of the political economic system change. Has to be costlier to businesses that are making climate change worse. Or heavier lift. Change incentives so companies are successful on how much good they bring to the world, not solely how much good they bring to investors. Or has to be costlier for politicians to follow th. You can't argue with an idiot. He'll bring you down to his level, and beat you with experience. Tilda mistakenly attributed to Mark Twain. Possibly said to Y.U.L. Brenner by Jean Cocteau. I went looking for the exact wording, and fell down a rabbit hole. Had an encounter with someone like that. Whatever you said his response was, fuck ooh fffffff. With that characteristic mouth, no sneer and head roll. Can't reason with those wannabe punk cunts. I've known some very intelligent and thoughtful punks. But punk cunts sound like a different species from those I've known. I didn't say punks. Some of the best people I've ever known were punks. I said wannabe punks. We need to stop talking about, the Earth, as a separate entity that humans have to protect. We need to start talking about human existence on Earth, so that people actually understand that what's at stake is the survival of the human species. We are making Earth uninhabitable for our own species, thus causing our own extinction. George Carlin said it best, the Earth will be fine. It's the humans that are fucked. Really? We should stop treating it like a goddamn charity event. Um sir, would you like to donate money to plant a tree with your Amazon checkout? Fucking hell? Cultural capitalism. The idea that we can keep consuming as we do if we just recycle more. Drive an electric car. Plant a tree. It lulls us to sleep while we keep consuming. The unfortunate truth is most Americans would rather the world burn to the ground than accept a less coinvent life. Not sure if it's most, but it's a lot. I think most people would be fine with it if we could simply life comfortable, quality lives. That's kind of the thing, though. Our lives aren't set up to be simple and eco-conscious. We have no control over where our electricity comes from. If society was set up to where we weren't forced to use so much energy, waste, a lot more people would be on board. When I lived near a greenway in a safish town, I walked all the time. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.